one special Leo in my life, and that is my daughter. It's her birthday tomorrow. And so the show is dedicated to her and all the Leos. I love Leo. What a beautiful sign you guys are. I'm going to cover, I'm going to start with the good, which is a full forecast on Leo tonight, and then <laughs> the bad and the ugly. A lot of you have come at me in the last couple of months asking me about the stars of some of our um, presidential candidates. And you know me, one thing I hate to discuss the most is politics and religion because I believe that they are the two evils and the cancers in this world. But as an American citizen, I have to do what I've got to do. So I did break down a few candidates for you, and you are going to be very shocked at what I tell you tonight about them. And we'll explain that a little more. I'm just letting everybody know that we are live. So let me just do that real quick in my computer system. And then we will get right to Leo. And we have a couple of people in our chat room. Wonderful. Welcome, everybody, to the show. I'm delighted you're all here. And uh, I'm reading and I'm reading. Very cool. And uh, Leo, happy birthday to you all. It is your month, the month of August. You know, you Leo's rule the fifth house, which does represent love, romance, creativity, children, and speculation. So a lot of Leos do very well being parents mm -hmm. and um, they, they rule the heart and love. So very romantic people. They are the most dignified sign in the zodiac. They rule the sun. The ruling planet is the sun, and their ruling animal is the lion. Your ruling countries, Leo, are Italy and France, and obviously that makes complete sense to me. Doing astro geography, um, Italy especially, you know, that that comore. It's about love. It's about romance, and that's what Italy is really a lot about when you go back there people feel like they've stepped back in time to a place that's very romantic and, and very passionate and very beautiful so the country is Italy your energy is very brave um, very uh, regal but can be very domineering but very noble your color is obviously red and or a deep reddish orange and your mineral is gold you rule the heart and the spine of, of the human body and the personality trait is that I will, I will succeed, I will get that new job, I will get that car, I will succeed. It's, their, um, how do I say this, their uh, outlook on life is very positive. We should actually look more to the lion and, 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 and embrace that positiveness. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful trait. We all should have it. You're very honorable. You're prideful. Can be a bit egotistical at times, but you can be easily hurt. And I've always said this about Leos. Leos are very strong. Um, they take a lot in. They can bear a lot of weight on their shoulders, and especially in the family area, they're very. Um, in tune with their family and they're pretty much the backbone sometimes of their family. The one way to hurt a Leo is through humility. And uh, they're, like I said, they're very prideful. Now, the one thing I know about Leos is that they love the stage, but they are hard workers. Um, fame is often the result of their hard work. Madonna, there's a perfect example of a Leo. Madonna, she is you know, there was no accident years, all those years ago when she came out with that video, Like a Virgin, and the lion and the gondolas, that was not an accident with the lion. That's her, Leo. Makes complete sense to me. <laughs> Their love is selfish, but dedicated and powerful. When a Leo loves you, a Leo loves you, and they're selfish with their love. They want your undivided attention. I know this from having a Leo child, <laughs> that she wants my undivided attention. So I always create, create mommy time for my Leo daughter because of that. Now, Leos are very competitive and enjoy children, and they enjoy sports of all kinds. Now, not all Leos, 
it depends on certain star charts and certain placements. Aaliyah Ruth is called the king of the jungle. Um, they're naturally gifted and attracted to professions involving the arts, uh, medicine, public life, um, performing, management, and pretty much any kind of fame in general. Um, Leos are born with the potential to bring and promote life and all that they touch. Um, I, always, I always tell my daughter this, you know, being a Leo, you have the ability to turn anything you touch into gold as long as you know the right placement of your star and where to be at the right place at the right time. I always tell her this, and she's slowly learning. And she's young yet, and once she is able to understand type of astrology that I do, there's nothing that she can't do um, that she won't be successful at being a little. Let's see here. I'm going to have to put my glasses on, you guys. I'm really sorry. Oh, there, that's better. Now, they are very strong and they are dominant, and, and that's a good thing. Um, they have a deep desire to organize and to help others, and I have to said this is a very true comment we're living in under the same household with a fellow Leo there are times when my my own mother and I have sat with each other and looked at each other and said I feel like her children my mother being my daughter's grandmother and myself because she's Leo and she's motherly and she's you know, be forceful and a little demanding and she'll tell you what to do and how to do it. We kind of just sat back and laughed because it's like we found the grandmother and the mother feel like the children here. <laughs> but my Leo is an old soul. So for all we know, we may have been here so we in a past life. Who knows? <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. But if they become too overbearing, this is always, there's always a negative to this. He or she will be forced to learn to accept the lessons of humility. You know, I've seen a lot of Leo's been humiliated, and it's, it's one of those prideful things where they go into a corner and sulk. Uh, destructive outbursts of emotion and spiritual pride are the enemies to them. So Leo has to remember to keep themselves in check a little bit, especially when the world is looking at them. Uh, Leo souls must positive, positively direct and control the sun's creativity and heat without burning it all down. So you're, you're a fire sign. You know, it's great to bring on the heat, just don't burn it all down to ashes in the end. The challenge for Leo is to recognize the sun's energy and, and the, the diligently work, and diligently work towards a better understanding of life other creative forces at work. You are destined to succeed, Leo. Uh, many women with this sign are usually very beautiful, they're intelligent, magnetic, and will always attract, and you will always attract, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Aquarius, and Gemini. Those two other air, air signs and the earth and the uh, fire signs. Countdown from five, from August, August, September, October, November, December, you fall right into Sagittarius' house of love, romance, or Sagittarius, yeah, the fifth house for Leo is Sagittarius, so you do very well with these signs. Some of you aren't with these signs, and that's okay too, but these are the signs that you'll be very compatible with. You may find that a lot of your friends are these signs as well. Um, it doesn't have to be a, a per se a, a romantic relationship to be a very friendship loving relationship let's see here they produce gifted children and but they should avoid being overbearing with them and i know a lot of leaders that can be very overbearing with their kids so just you know, lighten up a little bit you're only a kid once all leos are born with a subconscious fear of death and that is very common uh, a lot of them are very into their bodies and will either take a ton of pills or get a ton of plastic surgery or over-exercise is another one to look young and attractive. Uh, remember that you are a strong-minded soul, Leo, and you have a strong, robust body. You should never alter by the body with unnatural substance, of substances. Remember that usually uh, when you have a healthy outlook on life, the 
helps the inner health and lead the outer health. And that will complement the outer and you will grow older gracefully with beauty and charm. So just remember that when you're feeling a bit down. And I'm, I'm going into the chat here and my buddy Chris or Chuck Banks is in there. I'm going to have him on my show in a few weeks. I'm reading one of his books right now, not to get off the Leo rant, but it's incredible. I highly recommend that book. Oh my God. <laughs> I Chuck, I'm reading that book. I'm on page 57 and oh my God. <laughs> All I can say, pretty good. Liking it a lot, really enjoying it. I couldn't put it down last night, actually. But everyone in the chat, welcome to the show. If I didn't mention you yet by name, I'm really sorry. I'm trying to read everything here. And I, we're talking politics. Oy vey, oy vey. <laughs> Told you, I really hate to talk politics. So bear with me. I'm trying to get in here and see what everyone's saying. Again, Danny says he's Madonna. Hi, Madonna. How you doing? <laughs> what, are you dating any younger men these days? Last time I heard Madonna was dating a 28 year old. Hey, she moved up a little bit. She was dating 25 year old. She went a few years older. <laughs> so Chris Fisher, I, I know you were an Aquarius. How did I not know that? You, you are the perfect Aquarian. Makes perfect sense to me. And Chuck, it says he's a Libra, but I feel off balance. Oh, you guys are too funny. You're having too much fun in that chat. I just love it. Enjoy. Welcome. Oh, no, Danny, no president for me. You know, I would never make it as a president. You know why? I'm too brutally honest. <laughs> the Illuminati would kill me. <laughs> anyway, back to Leo. As my daughter's looking at me, going, well, come on, woman, finish my forecast. <laughs> now, Leo, Jupiter has been in your first house this past year, on August of last year, all the way to August 11th of this year. This planet has been residing right on you. And I've noticed, and I've talked to a lot of Leos, who said I've put on a few pounds this year. I want everyone to know that sometimes we have a tendency to put on weight solely by the aspect of our stars. Anytime you have Jupiter, Jupiter is the lord of luck. He is the lord of expansion. Anytime you have that planet right on your first house of your soul's purpose or even in your health house, chances are you're going to pack on a few pounds. I hate to say it, you know, luckily, Leo, it's leaving. As of August 12th, this moves into your second house. And unfortunately, Virgo will take that brunt, and Virgo will be possibly putting on a few pounds this year. Uh, as of August 12th of this year, all the way to, I want to say, September 11th of 2016, this planet moves. But this planet moves, Leo, right in your second house. What does this mean for Leo? Uh -oh. Any time you have a Jupiter in your second house of wealth, possessions, and self-esteem, I highly recommend doing it within the good stars. You to the full, you invest. Whether it's gold, like your own ruling sign represents, that's your metal, gold. I highly recommend you invest either in property, gold, anything you put your mind to and invest when it comes to money will manifest. If it's done in the right stars, Leo, you can make some money this year. Your self-esteem will be spot on. There will be no stopping you at this planet. This planet always blesses its children by house and sign. And it clues you to your second house. It, you can't lose. You just can't lose. Um, let's see. It's going to be an incredible year for you, Leo. I want all you Leos to keep me posted on things, okay? Because I'm, I'm, even my own child, I kind of sat there going, and you're in the acting business. Maybe you're going to land some incredible part. Who knows? And you never know. Now, I always talk about the universal dragon's head and tail. These are the north and south nodes of the moon, and this is also universal energy. 
and it'll be 18 to 